morning everyone it's a beautiful day in the mountain land and today I'm going to show you how to do a ceiling I've got my rig set up um, we bought this house we've been renovating and got this steer well I want to put tongue groove ceiling up there and the question is how how do you get there how do you reach that safely without there's a couple things you can do um, it's 15 feet from here it may not look like it was you know I'm standing at the top step to the top of the ceiling so now a little bit more perspective with the stairs there's a couple ways on how you do it I don't have a scaffold or I should say a plank uh, to maybe put on a rung of a ladder and then set a ladder on the stairs leaning against this wall behind me uh, so I don't have those um, the ladder I have it's too long so the best thing I got is a um, I need to continue the tongue and groove through the ceiling here I already pre-painted the walls as you see I hit the ceiling several times I didn't want to have to worry about that after the ceiling was in place and I need to replace that light um, and it gets a new smoke smoke detector um, yeah, let me show you what I'm going to use to hopefully make this possible well here she is I'm going to use the 72 inch long by 30 inch wide baker scaffold he's got all these adjustable holes probably not every homeowner will have this in their home but it's a solid pretty solid rig for you know one level my plan is to have that in all the way up and then this at the top of the stairs obviously all the way down and make this surface level and hopefully I'm able to use this to finish that tongue groove ceiling and um, well let me see uh, let me see if I can get it set up once it's set up um, I have to prep first I have to get the ceiling light off the stairs so I can't get down the stairwell I can't get past this scaffold once it's in the stairs so uh, I'm going to get all the wood cut, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to get a few of the wall pieces trimmed, cut as well.
I'm going to get all the boards pre-cut so I don't have to go on and off the scaffold to climb in and out. It's not going to be fun to keep doing that 28 times. So, you just cut all 28 boards, get yourself all set up. When it cuts on, you know, from wall to wall on the ceiling, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be super tight. You want a little space anyways. Yeah, let me try to do my math right. Yep. So if it's off, you know, an eighth inch, quarter inch, the trim board that goes all the way around the border. I'm not doing a crown. That's with inflation of cost of materials. It's just too much. And here's my desk collection system. It minimizes and the plastic shield will collect most of the most of the sawdust so it doesn't fly all over through the house. Turn the fan on. Keep air circulating. Here we go. <laughs> A 16 footer. I need 28 boards. And like I said, this is a trim piece I'll show you. Um, after it's up, I'm hoping that the mesh is the same from the lower part to the upper part. I haven't measured up high because uh, I'm not set up yet. I'm just getting everything cut. Too good. I'm kind of slow with my back issues, and, uh, but it's fine. We'll get her done. Trying to add that number multiple times. I don't want to have to think that hard. I could double it, but tripling it, uh, that's okay. And one more. Like I said, the cuts don't have to be precise because it's getting covered. It's, it's, a, it's a one by four. And it's three quarters on each side, so I can split the difference. If there's a half inch, it'll still cover. There we go.
seven inches. That's the cut I'm trying to achieve. And that's uh, what I got. So, two more boards cut, and I'll have my cut. Is the wall mayor saw with the stand it's such a great tool it's, these are 16 foot boards and uh, it really makes makes the job so much easier if you do enough woodworking or Cutting long lanes is just a nice portable. Um, it does the job. Like I said, it had a 500 pound capacity on this uh, miter saw rack. Double check and measure twice, cut once. Lumber prices are not cheap anymore. Mess up. Not too much waste.
I like to tinker with all, all kinds of projects. Um, I try to do my best. Um, I've been around the construction industry for a long time, probably 40 years, and definitely haven't perfected nothing. Uh, still learning. center but the quality is so much better so much better these boards are so true I guess as true as you can get in today's lumber I had a couple of extra off this because the top had a little gouge in it um, but what I'm gonna what those are for these these boards um, they're gonna be for the border all the way around. Yeah, I'll show you in here. It's gonna be for like that. It's just gonna be a border. And uh, the ceiling actually took, I don't wanna get into hair. There's a nice miter. The ceiling took forever. It's such a narrow hallway working on ladders is a pain in the butt. And it's got a hole to the attic and uh, but yeah, that's what that border looks like. And uh, yeah, so, well this, enough of that, we gotta get this set up. And um, I actually have to find the light because I can't get downstairs if it's downstairs. I'd have to go around the outside through the snow. I am gonna lock the door just in case. I can't, I, I am up here and I gotta get downstairs. But I'll be back. Next time you see me, hopefully this scaffold's set up and um, I'm ready to start. Okay. Well, here she is. You can see what I was talking. You can't get through. It's not even <laughs> five and a half inches through. So I have to climb and, and get over the top of here. But I'm still at floor height here. Um, so I'm going to have to use my little gorilla step stool as I get out to the end. Um, looks worse. Actually, there's probably, uh, maybe a f 18 inches, 12 inches, 16, I don't know, something like that. In between that edge, I just need to make sure I don't go over that. 
which is fine. Um, hit my head on the doorbell. I got a little knocking knocker going on now. Blump, bump, whatever you want to call it. Something like that. So, I'm going to do the right thing and uh, take a drink break. And um, good old Kool-Aid. Mm. I should do. And uh, have to find the two trusses that go through this is a truss roof system so I gotta find the center and just keep drawing my lines all the way down to make sure I'm not nailing through drywall. I'm using a pastel or DeWalt. This cordless nail gun is awesome. Um, I've been using DeWalt forever. But I'm using a two and a half inch 16 gauge now. And um, yeah, great tool. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. Also, is a hose for me to trip on. And I just got to be careful. So, um, for all you guys that do this all the time, I don't do this anymore. I just, uh, like I said, I just do more handyman stuff now and tinker. And now I'm just trying to get the ceiling done. And, uh, well, the day is here, so, um, let me get set up, we get the wood going, and, um, yeah. All right. I do some lines. This is center of the truss, and, uh, now I'm just, just going to start nailing. The tongue and groove and uh, with tongue and groove you want to make sure you're up near the tongue part I say down in that bevel edge and uh, with the nail so you don't see it hopefully and I'm just uh, using tapping the tongue lightly just to make sure she's seated all the way um, now they get near the tongue I don't know what angle um, it's some angle I don't know it's not 45 maybe 75 I don't know you want it more up you don't want to nail it like this you want to make sure you get enough so I'm already going through half inch drywall which has popcorn ceiling. So the solution, instead of removing the popcorn ceiling, is to put tongue and groove on. And being a mountain home, and that's what we like. So that's what, so that's what we're doing. And, uh, this gun is great really awesome I try to move as minimal as possible the less movements the more efficient you know like I said I you know just a light tap yeah I have about a half inch over there maybe a quarter a little nervous I hope there's no big bow I'm gonna have to pay attention to that so my trim piece that goes across covers. Well, we'll see. We'll keep going. And, uh, it's time to uh, yeah. Yeah. time to move the gorilla. I love this ladder. It's really stable and solid. Um, so. Let's see, all I do is, I'm gonna, I don't want to scratch the paint. Okay, stay. Take a framing square, and I put it on the actual tongue, and uh, I'm gonna draw a line. Whoop, oh, it moved. 
Let's see. I'm just going to make a little mark. I got to move a smoke detector. Let me see if, uh, let me see if that's center, close to center. So I'm using a 16 penny nail. I'm just going to hit about a half an inch on each side. I hit stud, truss, nothing. So, nothing. That's the edge. Okay. That's why I always do that and double check. I'm going to go three quarters from there. And that'll be my line. That's that center. So that's good. Take my framing square. Line it up on the old bark. And put it to the new one. And just draw a line. That way there you know your nails. Uh, pencil, pal. Uh, uh, oh, that's so bueno. Okay. Let's try again. Running out of lead. There we go. Uh, I gotta turn around. I can't really function spinning. My back don't spin too well. Let's see how this one does. Huh. Take my handy dandy. All right. Again, I'm checking for center. I just go a half inch outside of it. Nothing. A lot of times when they span trusses, that's the edge. When they span trusses from end to end of the house, there's no header obviously you see, so these are this is a truss roof system. Um, I mean they try to keep things you know 16 on center. Uh, this house, the trusses are 16 on center, which I was so surprised, but then I started thinking about the snow that we may that we can potentially have so either the the guy was overbuilt which i love doing i'd rather be overbuilt than underbuilt um regardless of what architects and engineers say you do what they say to meet the structural integrity of your of your home what I'm saying is if you overdo it that's okay you go above and beyond so either because the snow loads but there's walls supporting the center like the hallway trusses front to back so I'm okay with it if I don't have any beams I have open ceilings I love it makes the room feel just more roomier all right I'm gonna get the next addition um, I guess next boards are I think I do. yeah let's get four more boards um, before I get to the smoke detector this is real easy your most time consuming part of tongue and groove. Um, obviously, I'm on an easy little bit of an easy part. It's just a little bit more challenging trying to get to it because of the stairwell. But primarily, I'm in an open room, an open area. And uh, see, now I'm going to have to start splitting these. Yeah. So, uh, some of my cuts might have been shy, but my. Uh, what a great tool. I love it. But what my what I was gonna say was it's got a nice little belly in it. That's okay. She'll work just fine. 
Just push that up. Get the handy on your parking bone. And uh, there we go. That's good. Now what I have not done, I know this is interior, it's an interior stain. And I have not polyed the wood. So I'm not sure what I'm, ooh, that's right on the edge. Okay, well, I ain't going anywhere too far. This is uncomfortable. Ah, Come on. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. Yep. She talked. I love it. Yep. I don't even know if there's an hour there or not. One more board. And then what I'm gonna do is transfer all that wood that I cut, I'm gonna lean it on the Baker scaffold. So while I'm on there, I can keep going. This is doing nothing. Wow. Huh. Cool. Okay. There's not nothing. There's nothing in it. Not even a battery. Huh. But I know this one works because it got smoked in here last night. Well, a little smoke. And uh, it went off. Ooh. Wow. I wish the long boards were so easy like this. Try putting up a 14 footer. It's hard. Not impossible. It's just hard. Please. I hate doing those kind. Oh, the loosey goosey. Okay. I gotta readjust. Um. I hate my glasses. Um. Oh, that comes off. Looks like a flathead. So, I got to get set up on there. It's pretty good. Good enough. I'm hoping this is square. It was square on that end. And I hope I kept it square. Let's get a blade. supposed to be a hardwired smoke detector and it's uh I don't need that that's okay well there's wire in there wire nutted off I don't know what would you fellas do um I have a battery smoke detector this one's not even a wired one. This was a battery. Hmm. Oh, that was a spare. So that's handy. I don't know if it works. Doesn't matter. I got new ones. You want to replace them anyways. Every, I don't know, five, ten years. Ten years, I would say. I don't know how old this is. That's good junk. She gone. So the part I'm bummed about, I gotta climb over, climb back. Ugh. Not what I want to do. Mm -mm. I don't want to do that. 
going to have to. So let's see, let's work out. So let's do this. My hammer holder. My speed square. Not my speed square. You know, you know what that is. That thing. That, uh, that funny, yeah, you know. But, let's get this on here without scratching the wall. It's not painted down below. I'm sure that's OSHA approved. Yep, that's definitely OSHA approved. So, um, I gotta sharp my pencils. There's like, yeah. So what do you think? I can do one more piece. The next piece I gotta cut. The piece after that I have to cut. I have to cut the box in. Even if I don't use those wires, I'm still gonna put the new smoke detector there. And if I ever want to have a line, but if you use electric, I mean, and your battery dies, I don't know, I'll be. Oh, there's enough lead now. All right. Well, like I said, I can only go a couple boards. But I want to get on my boardage here, if I can. Let's do this. Let's put that on the inside. Let's do the right thing. That should work. Let's take this. Since I got to climb in and out once or twice, it doesn't really matter if I have everything there. It really doesn't. Because I still have to. This fella has to still climb over. I've been delaying this forever. When I mean forever, I just, I'm finally getting to it. So, not really. I'm just ready to do it. And while well, the day is here and I'm doing it. I get more. I don't want to get crazy. Wow. Five boards left. So I know I'm doing well. I'm going to be climbing off again and back on. So, this will be ugly. But I don't feel like doing this. Oh, you know what a man needs? Nails. Let's get some nails. I don't want to be on the other side and be short on nails. Well, I got spare. There we go. Three. Three mags. Whatever you want to call these. Three clips. Three. I don't know. Three. That should do. I'm definitely excited about this. I got to climb over. Climb back on the next piece. Climb back over, climb back, and then I'm on my way. Fun, great. Uh, no. Uh, yep. Or, ah, uh, crap. I could do the right thing and just sit here. That feels nice. Nope, not really. Oh. Oh, ooh, there we go. That's the that's the spot. Nope. I don't like this. This feeling is no bueno. I don't like it. What if I, I don't know, did that? How's that? Uh-huh. And a board.
Man, that thing was so bowed. Wow. Like, oh, I don't know where I'm at. I can't believe it covered my, yeah. Well, I see another nail. I don't see my other nails. I'd be guessing. So, um, uh, oh, wait, there's a nail. So let's do the right thing. Let's figure this out. Gosh dang it. We know there's a nail there. I'm going to draw a center. And then this box, we should be here. That box has got to be nailed to something. That's a 16. That's a 16 right there. Yeah. Oh boy. What do I do with the nail? Oh. The Marker 3000. I got it. The Marker 3000 comes in handy. Do I got me? Yeah. Do I got me? Nope. <sighs> Like I said, they tried. They did. They really tried. So that's that's it. That's the center. I had to do the same thing here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Two for eight. That okay, I'll put that there. So I'll finish down this. Um, I forget over here. There we go. Yep. Uh huh. That one's good. Nope. Nope. Yep. This is uncomfortable. I'm gonna get over the top of this and get over to there. Let's see if I can I can get my foot. Yeah. Okay. You can see why. Oh yeah. I know I got a chandelier coming up. I'm way back here. So I could do that. Oh, my dog. He's complaining. Things I messed up. But what does he know? He don't know. He just, he just, ah, uh, crap. Oh. Feller put it on the wrong mark on almost accident. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. That looks nice. I'm, I'm just, you know, you know what happens when you draw the line, you end up, I'm going to do both, why not, you know, let's do the right thing and do them both together, right, okay, get this in here, my framing square 3000 slot, okay, and uh, full marker 9000, oh, yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, hear that? Those are good sounds. Yep. Whew. Yep. That works. Alright, so you know what I gotta do? I gotta finalize the line. Make sure you get to the right mark, Eddie. Okay. You know. You know, people wonder why certain things sometimes cost so much money and labor. And I want to tell you why. It's because of this type of stuff. The setup. And, you know, there's a safety factor involved. So, 
and it's just it takes time for a man to do this it just takes time I can't get any closer my boards are down there I need one I'll just pretend that that box isn't there and uh, do the right thing and just cover her up you know She on? Oh yeah, she's on. She just, man, looser than. Wow, that went right on. So I have to like cut a hole here. Mark that. Mark that. I don't know. This looks like maybe a hole. Freehand artist. Right here. Uh, come on, let go. Yeah, there we go. Let go. Um, I don't know. That looks not right. Uh, tell me two inches ish, inch and seven eighths from the edge. Wow. Can you believe that? I totally guessed. Nailed it. That is awesome. Can't do that again. So now I gotta do what I regret. I'm dredging. I gotta get down. Let's just put that there in my wood slot. Let's get a foot here, maybe. I got the wheels on the other end, just in case I had to slide over an inch. Um, but she's she's good. She's steady. Whoop! Oh, that's that. That's that buster there again. I don't like that. Oh. Yeah. So this is where. I'm right here there's wires and uh, I'll be back once I get all this cut and uh, I'm more further that way so this is what I've done so far I took the old light down I got up to that point and pretty much I have to um, I'm actually gonna go get re kind of set up um, I'm gonna get a six foot ladder and just lean it against the wall. Um, and I could just go right up it and turn around and reach a little bit easier. I could get to the light with no problem when that time comes. But out there to last, I mean, I know it's only like three or four feet, but like I said, I have uh, some physical inabilities I'm not able to do and I have to Take another, another precaution or another, not I don't know, whatever you want to. I got to try another way. Um, that's as far as I could get. I could get maybe one board, but I'm just going to get set up so then I could get the residence ceiling finished. Stay tuned. Okay. Well, I'm all set. I got the border all the way around. Um, and there she is. She is complete. The ceiling all the way through. I can reach the trim piece from here. Because, yeah, that's why I did that. And I'll finish this, uh, that up some other time. Thanks for watching.